Hey, what's happening guys? You saw this a couple days ago in the video for the slow boat from China number 13. This is the 10k linear potentiometer which apparently has dual outputs. Well somebody, uh, I can't think of who said it right now, but asked, wrote in to ask me, said he had bought a couple of these and they came out at only 5k and not the promised 10k and could I check them well sure we're definitely going to check them and we're also going to see what we can do with them so to check a potentiometer you want to put a lead on the wiper which is in this case um, OTA and then one of the two outside contacts doesn't matter which one so they're basically the same. Now, all I need to do, uh, we lost the contact here. One moment. I got these alligator grippers on my leads and they're kind of crummy. Okay, so with the pot fully in one direction, we're reading six point I'll we'll call it 7 ohms. And at about 50%, we're reading 4 ohms. And fully in the opposite direction, 5K. Oh, I'm sorry. That was 4 kilo ohms. 5K. So, first of all, that's not linear. If one end is 0, and we can there we can gnaw that out one end is zero then halfway should be about 2.5 hmm, I'm not getting anything at all okay so if we call this zero to subtract seven from the number halfway should be 2.5 not four yeah definitely not linear somewhat logarithmic I guess so that's the a connection then we can test the B connection as well about halfway again four all the way is five and if I switch our connections That's very strange. It really shouldn't matter. I'm just reading resistance. 5K. 5K. Huh. Oh, I'm on VCC and ground. Duh. So I just need to change this one here. There we go. Now we're good. So 5K. In 1.46 ohm. Okay, so we've read and we've checked our resistance. No worries. All right, next thing we're going to do is hook it up properly to a power supply. All right, so I've hooked up the power supply here. This is the uh, Pivono power supply that I reviewed in another video, and it's set for six volts and about 200 milliamps so let's come back over all right so with the slider all the way in one position we're seeing what 0. 0.0006 of a volt you know i'm going to go out on a limb here and i'm going to call that zero and as we increase the slider along, there's 0.2 of a volt, 1.9. Now, that looks to be fairly close to 50% to me. So we should be seeing 3 volts, and we're seeing just under at 2.842. And if we increase it fully in the other direction, 
we're getting 6.06 .06 volts. So the, the slide potentiometer is working quite well. Let's check out the other output. Okay, with the other output hooked up in the exact same fashion, at one end of the slider we are at zero volts. Right there in the middle, yeah, we're getting 3.1 and fully in the opposite direction, 6.068. So they, the outputs do seem to be somewhat equal. And the reason I got this, instead of using the regular rotary potentiometers I have, is I think this is a, it'll offer a little bit more precise adjustments. And it's more visual, so hopefully that'll work out well. Now, one last experiment I want to do with this is attach it to two power supplies at different voltages, and we should be able to read two separate voltages coming through the single potentiometer. All right, so <clears throat> my final experiment failed. The VCC and ground are paralleled, so they're the same input, and ground just passed around. But I have hooked up both of the outputs, and you can see we're getting 1.231, 1.20, so 4.51, 4.51, and 6 volts and 6 volts. So they're just a, it's just a parallel. I don't know why it's done like that. You can change two things. It would work for stereo, I guess. I'm not much of an audio guy, so I can't tell you for sure, but all in all, you definitely can't have two separate inputs and grounds. Only one is gonna work. So there you have it. For what, a buck 71, buck 77? In a couple weeks, wait. You get a nice uh, slide potentiometer from our friends in China. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up, feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Patron money is used to do things like buy goodies from China for us to play with. Anyway, that's it. I'm out. Peace.